Hello from Taiwan on this lovely summer night. I'm Paul Wallace. This is the day 36 after my hip replacement. I can say that I am 80% okay now. I feel very strong. I can do most movements. Of course, not as before. No, no, no. No roundhouse kicks and so on. I don't think I will ever do that, but I can do most m m major movements okay. I can sit anyhow I want. I can sit in my uh, beloved Japanese uh, sitting position, which I use for meditation and just brings me comfort. I got used to it over the years. Um, yeah, what I cannot do yet is basically, as you see, if I can move my left knee healthily, easily up, right knee, right knee won't go. Oh, today it went a little bit higher, but if I sit straight, I can't lift it yet completely up to my chest. Um, so that's the limitation. There's still some, you know, it's a kind of pain like simply there is no power to, to go through it. It's not a pain, but it's like a, like a pain appears when you have no power. You know, you reach the limit. Um, but it is a great improvement. I feel very strong. I actually feel my legs are stronger than before because I have not. I didn't have time. I haven't got the time to, to train so uh, much on of my old Chinese uh, exercises or systems now I first of all because I'm recovering I have to do that I mean and because of COVID situation in Taiwan we cannot train uh, with partners so I'm forced to do that I'm very very glad it's a kind of blessing in disguise not the COVID but the whole process of my recovery leading me to those um, uh, to stress or emphasize those um, techniques um, otherwise, well, there was no change in the day 33, 34, or maybe 34, 35. I remember I didn't record any summary over those two days, but didn't nothing much changed. I just feel better, stronger. Um, uh, there is really not any awkward feeling uh, in my joint. The only thing I could say, it's slight complaint, is that my skin is still, uh, how to say, um, numb yeah it doesn't feel much uh, i can feel when i hit it yeah or i could feel i would feel pain if i hit myself in the muscle but uh, basically the skin feeling is is gone and the area does not subside but this does not bother me much this i mean people could say oh that's unsuccessful no no my joint is working fine and and this piece of skin really i i don't care uh, probably if there's no COVID, I would be able to go to uh, Chinese medicine uh, doctor for, for Chinese medical, medical treatment like acupuncture or some massage or some other things they have, uh, herbs and so on. But uh, I can't or even if they are open, I don't want to really do that at this time. Um, regarding COVID situation in Taiwan, well... Um, there's some new cluster, about 70 migrant workers. Uh, it's hard to speak because, well, you know, this happens if they are crowded together. And today there was, uh, today or yesterday, there was a news that the factory owner, one factory owner ordered his migrant workers. Migrant workers are, I mean, people who come in here to work in the factories from Philippines, from uh, Indonesia, from Thailand, because simply they are cheap labor and that's how Taiwan makes money uh, how Taiwan can compete with China because of cheap labor there's no other way um, and you know they ordered them to actually come and live in a dormitory all the all the uh, workers who rented outside apartments because you know they found that this is the way to control spreading of COVID we're a really nice way so this is very clear human rights var uh, uh, valuation um, you don't treat people like this asshole. Um, another point today um, was, I'm not sure if this is <laughs> past or or is just a suggestion, but it's a kind of surprising. So I will not comment. I just say clearly what the law, what the the proposed law or rule states that if you are a pilot and you are if you are vaccinated in Taiwan you can enter the country without quarantine but if you were or are vaccinated uh, not in Taiwan you have to go through short quarantine but you have to go through quarantine uh, because Taiwan decided that um, Taiwan does not recognize foreign vaccines 
which is um, the mental gymnastics that I will have to do or anyone have to do to understand that um, <laughs> proposal of the rule it's it's beyond us all, all right um, no comment no comment because you know we're living in a very free democratic society where you can actually um, you know be censored strictly and harshly okay um, anyway that's it for today see you tomorrow keep calm keep relaxed keep keep motivated and if you are a martial artist and going through the same thing as I hip replacement uh, you know don't do anything cra anything crazy but train every day do something you don't have to do this all day you don't have to walk kilometers I mean if doctor advise you some doctors advise to walk you know for very long distances no all you have to do find some good regular regular training especially connected to, to, to Qi energy, so you can improve the circulation of Qi energy. The injury really heals faster, and I wish you great um, recovery. Um, to the rest of us, good luck. Good luck with, to the whole world um, in this situation that we go through. I hope this is over. How is going to be over? I'm not sure, but I hope that this is over and people can enjoy their freedom and normal life again. Thank you very much. See you next time.